Boogie, boogie, boogie beats. Ha 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 ha! Oh, that was easy peasy. Mwah. You still kissing that piece of junk, Coleman? Hey, at least it's better than kissing the sergeant's ass. <sighs> Give me that. What is that anyway? That's from the old world. Well, you wouldn't understand. You can't even fucking read. <laughs> Sorry, Grandma. It's not a fucking library. Support. Hey! My grandma was a general. Shut the fuck up, man. You didn't know your grandma. <laughs> Fight's not with you. Oh, it is now. You fight with them. That means you die with them. Hello everyone that's watching. My name is Boogie Beats with the game reviews you already know. Today we will be reviewing Outriders. You can pick it up for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox One Series X, Xbox One Series X, Google Stadia, and PC for about $40. Square Enix released this game April 1st, 2021. This game has a Steam rating of 6 out of 10 and an Epic Game rating of 4.4 out of 5. As always, this game has minor spoilers. Let's begin. The story begins off with you trying to find a planet for humankind to safely live on. During the middle of the 21st century, Earth is dying, with climate disasters which grow more and more dangerous as the days pass on. All major governments of Earth combine resources under the newly formed ECA, which stands for Enoch Colonization Authority, in a last effort to salvage the planet Enoch, a distant Earth-like planet. Enoch is the planet you land on. You are an outrider, the first humans to step foot on this planet. You carry around 500,000 colonists with you. This is where the story begins. You quickly find out this planet is far more dangerous than Earth ever was, and you try to call off the mission after seeing many of your comrades ripped apart by the anomaly. However, Sergeant Major Charles Maxwell has other plans. He kills Jack Tanner and issues the extermination of all Outriders. You make it to a cryopod with the help of Shira and wake up 31 years later. Soon after, you find that the anomaly has given you powers. You can choose from four paths, Technomancer, use gadgets and freeze your opponents, long range fighter, every hit done to enemies will heal you, this is the path I chose, really good support class. Devastator, the tank of the game, absorb enemy fire, close range fighter, has a lot of armor, pretty solid class, you will only gain health from slain enemies. Pyromancer, medium range fighter, use fire to burn enemies, fire dealt to player, and fire based skills will heal you. I will recommend this class to players familiar with first person shooters. Then there's the Trickster. Think of this class as your rope class, close range, hit and run, control time and space. You will only heal if you slay an enemy. This is one of the hardest classes to play but you should still check it out. The game is not an open world game. Go from point to point, defeat a wave of enemies and progress with the story. Your first two bosses will be the Electric Altered who is fairly easy to beat, at least for my Pyromancer and Technomancer it was. 
Just attack them using your skills and hide behind those objects. The second one is the spider you fight in a volcano. It's pretty easy to dodge those attacks. The blue indicators is its hit zone. When damaged enough, it will run up the wall and spawn a bunch of smaller spiders. Beat those up, it will eventually turn into some worm-like creature. It will spit a bunch of lava at you. Pretty easy to beat to be honest. Dodge the lava, remember to use your skills. No enemy stood a chance against my Technomancer. At some point in the game, you will fight Moloch. Here is the gameplay of your first encounter with him. Just dodge a bunch of his insane attacks. My Technomancer's heal skill came in clutch. Not gonna lie, this is one of my favorite bosses in the game. You can upgrade your equipment, sell those old equipment, or dismantle them for parts. If you don't like the look of a certain item, change it by talking to Jacob, or however you pronounce his name. Select the I want the truck to look like hell on a wheels option. There you can change your equipment appearance, the appearance of your truck, your banner, and emotes. Unlock more options for your banner and truck by progressing in the game or completing the accolade challenges. You can get a summary of character bios and background info, planets, enemies, and more. You gain experience from killing enemies and completing quests. Add points into your class tree which improve your health, power, skill, cooldowns, resistance, and armor. There are three class paths to choose from. Whichever one you like, you should aim for. I will probably be making multiple videos on this game. One might be an actual guide. For your skills, you can unlock them at predetermined levels. It will tell you. Read what they do. They will grant you insane powers. I went crazy on my enemies when I unlocked the rocket launcher for my Technomancer. Play around with different classes to see which one you like the most. My favorite two were Pyromancer and Technomancer. Don't forget to upgrade your armor. You will need resources which you can earn by mining from materials in the world or completing certain quests. Complete those side quests to earn rewards such as armor or guns. You can also collect bounties, defeat a swarm of enemies, and eliminate the one to target. You can also take down mercenaries or hunt down monsters for big rewards. The rewards for missions in this game is insane. Once you arrive at the first city, finding the witch girl that has visions of the future, then you can tackle on those missions to earn even bigger and sicker weapons and armor. Those yellow exclamation symbols are side quests, do them for more EXP. Those yellow books are collectibles and the big yellow circles are the main quest. Once you select your class, the only way to select another class is by making a new character. But you can change your appearance anytime. Find a scissor icon in any camp to change your appearance and it doesn't cost you anything. You can play on a team, find the satellites in the camps. I never use this, but tell me what your thoughts of this was. Overall, I'll give this game an A+. The wave of enemies can get repetitive, but I still find the game interesting. Change your world tier for different rewards. The higher the tier, the harder the enemies will be, but the higher the rewards will be. Take on a challenge and choose a higher world tier. For the purpose of this video, I stayed on world tier 3. But I will definitely increase it after this video. Well, that's all for this video. If you like this video, like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification icon to stay updated on our future content. Let us know what you thought of the video in the comments. It's Boogie Beats with the craziest game reviews. I'm out. Did you piss off? I don't need anyone else to babysit. I can take care of myself. <sighs> Not where we're going. Hey, just wait. Head on over till it's over. Get off! What? Did you just... It's how I know I'm supposed to go with you. The anomaly fucked me up too. But I only get the visions. Always horrible visions all my life. Except one. One that's beautiful. It's this planet. But it's lush. And it's green, it's, it's in the future. And there's always someone there with me. I could never see the face, but the voice, it's you. Whatever it is you're doing, I know it's gonna work. Because in the end, we're in that meadow together.